Alright, so sex in course two, lesson four, number line and sequences. So I need to arrange these numbers in order from least to greatest. And when I do that, I'm going to think about my number line and where these numbers are on it. So I have zero, one, and negative two. So the least number, the smallest number is negative two, because negative is always going to be smaller than a positive number. So my smallest number is negative two. Okay, next would be zero. And finally, one. In this one, I want, it wants me to compare two numbers using a comparison symbol. So my comparison symbols would be greater than, less than, or equal to. In this case, I know that negative five is less than three. So I'm going to use my less than symbol to compare them. And then to write it out, I would write out negative Five is less than three. Okay. That would be writing it in words. Okay, so with the number line, we can also show addition and subtraction problems. So here I have three plus two. To show it on a number line, I'm going to start at zero, because that's where you always start. And I'm going to go positive three plus three. So I'm going to go up three. One, two, three. Okay. Then the second part of my equation is plus two more. So again, positive is to the right. So I'm going to go to the right two more places. One, two, and my answer is five. So that's plus two. That one was plus three. We can also slow show subtraction. Again, starting at zero. I'm going to go positive 5, because 5 is a positive number. I'm going to go to the right 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay. But on this one, I'm going to be um, subtracting 3. So since my minus 3 is negative, I'm going to be moving to the left. So I'm going to move to the left three places. So 1, 2, 3. My answer will be 2. With this next problem, it wants me to simplify this equation. So 376 minus 840. Okay. Well, I know my answer is going to be negative because the top number is smaller than the bottom number. So to make this simpler and simplify it, I'm going to switch my two numbers around. That will make it a lot easier to subtract. So I'm going to do 840 and subtract 376. And I'm just going to remember that my answer has to be negative because 376 is my first number and it's smaller. So when I subtract it, I'm going to end up with 464. And it's negative because 376 is my first number. All right, the second part of this lesson is sequences. Now, sequences are numbers, terms in a list that follow a certain rule or pattern. Okay, so in this case, I have 1, 4, 9, and 16. Now, I could use a couple different rules for this. The first rule is to figure out how much bigger each term is. So 1 and 4, that's going to be a plus 3 bigger. Okay, 4 and 9, that's plus 5. 9 and 16 is plus 9. Oh, sorry, plus 7. Okay, so if you notice, I'm adding the next odd number each time. So the next odd number after plus 7 would be plus 9, and then plus 11, and then plus 13. So 16 plus 9 is 25. 25 plus 11 is 36. And 36 plus 13 is 49. Okay. So that could be one of the rules. Okay, I'd say it's the next odd number, add the next odd number. The second one is if you notice, 1, 4, 9, and 16, those are all perfect squares. Okay. 1 is equal to 1 squared, 4 is equal to 2 squared, 9 is equal to 3 squared. 16 is equal to 4 squared. 
If I follow this pattern, that means my next number would have to be 5 squared, which is 25. Okay, which I got before. Those two answers are the same. Okay, so then 6 squared would have to be 36. And then 7 squared is equal to 49. So in this case, it could be either rule is correct. So this last one, it tells me the rule. So the rule is k equals 2n. And I want to find the first four terms of the sequence. So k is going to be my answer equals 2n. So to find the first four terms, I'm going to put in the numbers 1, 2, 3, and 4 into my letter n. Okay. So my first one is going to be k equals 2 times 1, which is equal to 2. That's my first term. The second term is going to be k equals 2 times 2, which equals 4. Okay, so that's my first term. Second. Okay, my third term will be k equals 2 times 3, which is equal to 6. Okay, and my last one, my fourth term, is going to be k equals 2 times 4, which is equal to 8. So my answers for, my, for the terms in the segment will be 2, 4, 6, and 8. And that's all for this lesson.